Hello guys, today you are coming with me for my self-love journey. I feel like this is very relevant in my life. I have really been focusing on self-love and I'm gonna be teaching you ways that you can implement different acts of self-love. I know you can go and get your nails done and that's cute and whatever, but at the end of the day, it comes down to your mental state as well. Subscribe to my channel and make sure the notification bell is checked off. Even if you are subscribed right now, just do a double check to make sure that you're getting my notification. I am going to the gym and let me tell you guys, nothing inside of me feels like working out right now. It's all about consistency and I'm just telling you guys that there are gonna be days we don't feel like going to the gym and you just have to push yourself because it makes me feel a lot better. I feel like it makes me feel energized after I definitely need that right now. These bags under my eyes are very apparent. I know like going to the gym isn't for everyone. Maybe it actually makes you miserable. In that case, do exercise that makes you happy. Like go for a walk with your dog. Whatever tickles your fancy. Focus on the journey and not the outcome because as soon as as you become focused on like the outcome it just becomes less fun and if you instead put your energy towards how you feel mentally it's a lot more motivating I my stack. I got a matter what he say. I'm the 2010 yeah, LeBron James off the bat for a type of bad boy hold it down for the task force if I run his faith then you ask for it niggas cross need to laugh more I keep it a hundred on dashboard the live show need a passport cuz a beat bounce to the cap torn feel like I live it fast forward but I ask for it misfit got a quick lit on a crash course for the tatter garment to the tabloid Fuck how I live it into existence. I'd be ahead of my. A week of self-love can change the game for you because it's getting new energy rolling. It's kind of releasing old patterns and committing yourself to a new way of living. I want you guys to make the decision right now that you are going to be there for yourself no matter what happens in your life because, because self-love isn't just something that happens when you feel proud of yourself for accomplishing something. It is there when you are at your all-time low if I didn't meet my own expectations of myself, which are most of the time very, very high, I would get super mad and almost like have this like self-hatred feeling. Yeah, it, it wasn't good. But when I flipped my mindset to just always being a, a comforting voice for myself, I feel like every area in my life started to shift. I just started to notice that I wasn't looking outside of myself for external things to make me happy. I was really finding happiness in each moment. Hey guys. So today's act of self-love is going to be baking for myself. So I found this recipe on Pinterest that we're going to be making. They are flourless peanut butter muffins. It, the ingredients are pretty simple. Let's just check it out. Okay, so we need two ripe bananas. While we're baking here, I just want to talk more about being there for yourself. Self-compassion is such a huge part of self-love and just being easy on yourself. Like how many times have you beat yourself up over something that you can't control. You are just human and you're trying your best for where you are right now. So if you have a bad day, perhaps maybe you binge a first step is to forgive yourself because you are not going to get anywhere on your self-love journey if you beat yourself up over and over and over again. You gotta just let it go. Nobody is perfect, as Hannah Montana said. How much peanut butter? One cup peanut butter, brother. That's a lot of peanut butter. I think that's like literally all I have left too. So right now, my friends, I would like you to think of one area in your life where you could be kinder to yourself. Maybe it's on your fitness journey. Stop beating yourself up. Life goes on. Also, surround yourself with people who also know how to lift themselves up. This is a big one. I'm running out of my almond butter too. I love this stuff. Oh my God. <sighs> Woo! I'm never gonna stop preaching in this video. If you're waiting for that moment, it's not gonna come. I talk about the law of attraction a bunch on this channel and believe it or not, it's just always coming up in conversation. Think of life as like a mirror. You don't always get what you want, but you always get a reflection of what is going on inside. It's gonna always be reflecting how you feel about yourself. Just really believe, all right, what's meant for me is coming to me and it won't miss me. Watch things flow into your life easier than ever. It's going to be crazy. Fair enough. I mean, I'm a little bit lost, but fair enough. I always get a ton of 
questions on my jewelry and I am wearing Goddess Amulet from Alchemy by LA. I also do have a code if you guys want to get one yourself. I just love how it works with like my necklace. This one is from my grandparents. It's from my first Holy Communion. I feel like a goddess when I'm wearing it. Yeah. I want the muffins. I want them now. It smells so good. My whole apartment is just like wafting with the aroma of peanut butter and banana right now, if you can imagine that. I feel like they should make a candle called Banana Peanut Butter Muffin, made by Luca, with love. I don't know why you can't see the chocolate chips in there, but I did add chocolate chips on top. Okay. I don't know why I want to show you guys this, but I do. So here you go. That's so bomb. It's kind of wet in the middle. I think they need to go back in, but overall, the perfect balance between sweet and salty. And just so fluffy too. Hi guys, so this is a bit of a spontaneous moment. I didn't feel like I was gonna put this in the video, but it's a moment of self-love. So I wanted to show you guys. I decided to take myself out to lunch after class today and I got myself some brown some brown bag seafood company. Yeah, they have really good seafood that's like fairly cheap and they're playing music like right there. So it's it's hopping. It's hopping here. brothers and sisters. We are making a smoothie because I just got finished working out. I just got finished. Oh my gosh. My English teacher would be so proud of me. I just finished working out. I did some arms and my arms are low-key looking pretty um, ripped right now. So anyway, I'm gonna try a new protein powder because I just got it in the mail a couple days ago and I wanted to taste test it. Let's go. Yeah. Today is Friday and I thought I would get my work over with so I don't have to stress about it over the weekend and I can't relax. I do have quite a bit to do and I think I'm gonna try a new coffee shop that just reopened because they were closed for COVID. This is, by the way, this is banana pancakes flavor. This is vegan protein by Steel. I will link it down below if you guys wanna try it out. Um, I'm also using vanilla almond milk. And it could be on your own. Frozen mango. Gotta get our greens in. Wow. This tastes like if you live in Spain, Madrid more specifically, and you know what banana candy tastes like. Banana shaped candy, and it's like chewy with like a sugar coating. This tastes exactly like that. And if you like banana flavored candy, I would recommend this. If you don't like banana, probably gonna hate this, but it's crazy. I'm actually so pumped to pick up, not pick up, to actually go in this coffee shop because they have a lot of plants and I haven't yet found a coffee shop that I truly integrate vibe with. Like I I don't have that special connection with any of these coffee shops that I have been to so far here in Atlanta. So I'm hoping this is the one. I did speak to a guy on the phone and I feel like he kind of had an attractive voice. We can hope for the best. Maybe like I can just be like, hey, like, I was the person that called. So thank you for telling me where to park because that was a big help and um can i have a matcha okay well i guess i'll see you guys when i get there all right it's been a while since i've done my australian accent and it's not going well is it So it is a Saturday. The weather is super cloudy out. It's just one of those days. I like to think of these days as necessary for the good days to be good, if that makes sense. Like you're just gonna have those days where you do nothing, stay inside, and you just know that it's gonna be okay because better days are coming. So that's what I keep telling myself today. It's also a really good day for like introspection. Today, I wanna talk about journaling. There are so many different forms of journaling that I think are awesome. Number one, is the form that I do most often. It's just a free flow journal. I just write whatever comes to mind. If that's what I did that day, I write that. 
if I wanna write about a situation that happened in my life that I don't really know how to process or I kind of still feel like I am trying to sort through my emotions, I will just write down every single detail that comes to mind. There's also gratitude journaling. Felt a bit negative the past couple of days. If I'm being honest with you, I just feel like I haven't been looking on the positive side of things, which is okay. Like you don't have to be super positive all the time. It's not realistic, it's not human. It's It shouldn't even be like a goal of yours to be happy all the time. It's just unrealistic. But I feel like I can be more appreciative for the things I do have in my life. So I'm going to just write a gratitude list, journaling for the law of attraction and just um, writing affirmations, which also is amazing to do. Like if you wanna take some of those affirmations from my profile tab, I saved some of those stories. Also putting on some good music is highly recommended. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I just wanted to say that a few weeks ago I wrote a blog post talking all about burnout and self-care hacks that you can implement in your daily life. I know a lot of you guys are probably going through finals right now so I think it could be really useful for you. Also, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. I will link it down below. And if any part of this video resonated with you, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I really love hearing from you guys. It makes my day truly. So, love you and I will see you very, very soon. Mwah.